This cute little suitcase dresser, I got the idea from a video game. I'd seen other examples of it, and I thought I'd try it. I just had to find the right dresser and enough travel stickers to cover it where I wanted them. Well, she looks terrible, but that's just because it's just been stripped. So now I'm going to sand this the same way I did the drawers. And it looks awful right now, but once it's painted, it'll look great. And remember, I don't have to strip this all the way to the wood. It's fur. I don't mind if it has a bit more paint still on it because fur just, uh, the grain will pop up just because in between the grains it's quite inconsistent in density. So I'm just going to give it a sand down enough to get it smooth and then I will prime it. So these are the dresser drawers that I'm in the process of turning into a, what looks like a luggage rack. So I've sanded them down and if you've noticed, we didn't sand them right down to bare wood because I don't care, they're getting painted. It's not a nice looking wood, it's an old fur dresser. Um, so all I did was fill the old handle marks with putty because I will be using a pull. And the whole point is we just needed a flat surface. So any marks, any dents, I filled with auto body filler. And when I gave it its final sand, when I found a couple more little spots, then I just used wood filler on those. I like auto body filler though, because it just, it, it's so nice and hard and you're not gonna chip it out. Um, you obviously have to be painting your project if you use auto body filler. So I have four draw drawers in total um, and we're just going to give them a good coat of prime. In true fashion, I forgot to show this, but basically I ran tape down each drawer to create a pattern. And these certainly aren't done. It has to be done in stages, so I'll show you the next one that I'm doing. But this is what my little suitcases look like so far. And... I've still got to do a lot more stitching and tacking, and I will show you those, but basically this is the start. Um, we can see this all dried, and this is a more subtle striping on this drawer, but it's dry now. So now I'm going to do the opening across the top of the drawer. Now you can use black paint, a marker, whatever you want. Here you can see us putting all the stitching and the suitcase lines. We use masking tape so we get a really nice straight line. Then we come to the place where we have to put our polyurethane coat. We use a water base on this. 
You don't need to because it's painted, but I like a nice clear coat on it just for so it doesn't chip over time. And we use foam brushes. They work great. A couple coats of this and the drawers are done. Now the drawers are ready for the hardware. I ordered these great little travel stickers to make them look more like suitcases. And they're just absolutely sweet. So we're going to put the hardware on these. I've got one drawer done already and I'll show you the rest. One of the things that we had to do in order to attach these is this is the carriage bolts that I'm using to attach it to the drawer. Um, the carriage bolt is a little thick for the original holes. So I'm just taking quarter inch bit size and reaming these out a little bit and then I'm able to attach them onto the drawers. So the first thing you need to do is find the center of your drawer and figure out how wide your piece is. So I don't measure it like this because then this is going to sit flat. So what I do is I measure it kind of squished together just to give it enough room to get your hand in there. And then you just find your total width of this. and go from there. And there's our marks for drilling. So here, 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 and here. And that's how I'm going to do all the drawers for the handles. And um, I'll show you when I'm nailing on the clasps. Now here we are uh, attaching the suitcase handles and they are off vintage suitcases. We used very strong bolts. They had to be hammered in. Um, and that works great. I'm sure you could screw them in too, but I wanted that smooth uh, look on the bolts. You don't get that with a screw, you'd have the lines. So you turn that. This is the finished product. And here's inside the drawers. Two of them are that color, and then the bottom two are the tweed. And that's it for my suitcase dresser project.